I must have been taking damage from his bullets and not from uh, bumping into him. Yeah, you can use the controller for the the maze sections, but it's definitely slower. There's there's no way it's faster. Runner or Tom Vadova. Whatever you want to call him. See, that's annoying to die on that boss. Well, to die at all is annoying, but. They're... The big reset point is like right after that, at the start of Chapter 4. So you want to at least get to that. First chapter, we're just trying to uh, get our horse back, Silver. He has somehow got stuck across this bridge down below. You can see him. At, uh, if I went down, you can see him uh, at the very bottom of the screen. So we have to do a bunch of uh, tasks in order to to get across the bridge. The bridge guy won't let us cross without a letter from the sheriff. So we go to the sheriff, and now the sheriff won't let, won't give us a letter until we clear out all the outlaws from the uh, hideout on the on the west side. Jumping is uh, faster than walking, so try and jump as much as possible. Again, you see me hesitating to pick up the money. Switch to silver bullets for the bosses because they do a little bit more damage. Kill the boss in uh, four shots. <clears throat> yeah, I have a a, a minute and time or a minute and ten seconds at least to save on. On chapter eight, the very last two I've got split. <clears throat> so subtract a minute and ten off my sum of s, and that's what my sum of s actually is. What it should be. So if I can just get one one decent run, we should uh, pretty easily have the record. We got the letter, now the zombie man will let us cross the bridge. Oh. I always forget you have to leave this down at the end. <laughs> hey, there's silver. Uh, I practiced the whole game. <laughs> I wouldn't be running it if I didn't practice it. Yep, 
Superman, let us cross. <clears throat> the first chapter is really easy. <clears throat> the second chapter is also quite easy. We have to go find... Well, there, there's a plate that acts as a map to a treasure, and uh, two of the pieces are missing, so we have to go find those two pieces. Oh, jump. One is on the, uh, the boss of this stage, the other is on the zap in the zapper maze. Oh, I got him. Nice. What's up, Mike? Thanks for those. Let's switch back to our regular bullets for the maze, because we do not want to be wasting silver bullets in here. right now, uh, into chapter 8, I am actually 20 seconds ahead of the record, and then I was dumb. minute and 10 seconds to save on chapter 8. I know I can save more than that. Ah! Dynamite, go away! <laughs> oh, fuck dynamite at me! <laughs> the dynamite pimps are out, bro. at the bottom tells me which side they're coming from. So if I don't remember what, exactly which side they're coming from, I can always just look at that. accurate way. Dang it. Extra. I have extra normal bullets, which I don't want. Just gonna waste them. <laughs> we got the two pieces, and this guy had the third piece. So now you can tell us where the treasure is. 
it's on the, uh, in the cave on the east. So that's where we have to go now. And again, we're going to spend all our money on silver bullets here. So much for the uh, the sub, very much appreciated. So I think that's like only the blue guys in this cave can get killed with normal bullets in one shot. So you see me, I just waste them all. So I can. You have to get rid of all the bullets that are in the uh... that are loaded before you can uh, load a different type of bullet. This, this is just a maze. There's no RNG. Just remember where to go. Hey, don't shoot at me. <laughs> Love it. That's my favorite shot. That corner shot there. My favorite shot in the game. <laughs> I don't know why. Just go through the maze, it's the fastest way. <clears throat> Thanks for the luck. chapter 3 without dying this time. That would be nice. <clears throat> it's a problematic thing. Uh, there's just... Well, for what I'm doing, there's a skip in chapter 4, which is like 21, 22 minutes in. I think it's 22 minutes in. That, uh, I think it's like a four frame window to get it, and then frame perfect buffering. <clears throat> and if I miss that, I lose 45, 50 seconds, so I have to reset. And it's just, it's just not dying, because you can't, you can't die, there's, you don't have lives in this. You just game over if you die, you have to start the whole chapter over. Nice. Got the jukes. <clears throat> but we're back to where I was when everyone came in. Talk to this person. And leave the town. I don't tr trigger the, uh... What am I doing? <laughs> nice. Let's just throw away those three or four seconds. <clears throat> now we talk to the sheriff. He gives us the mission to go take care of the outlaws that injured him. Stage. Keep running out of ammo there. 
So it doesn't it doesn't reload on its own. You have to shoot. If you're empty, you got no bullets in the chamber. You have to shoot again in order to reload. So that can get you into trouble sometimes. When you don't realize that you have no bullets. Like you'll go to shoot and then obviously you won't have any bullets. So it uh you can end up taking a lot of damage that way if you aren't paying attention. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, that guy's super easy again. Save. <clears throat> nice. These guys die in one hit. I did not know if they. If they oh, I forgot to split again. Dang it. Hotel again. So there's like two zapper mazes back to back. And then the last one isn't until chapter 8 at the very end. Quite a bit of health in this section, so if you took some hits on the earlier part, not a big deal. Attack on the right. Really, there's really hardly any RNG in this. <clears throat> uh, you can, there's an option to play with the controller, and it makes like a cursor on the screen, uh, but it's much slower. Or it's, uh, at least for a speedrun, it's slower. Because the zapper is just much faster and more accurate than moving a cursor. <clears throat> Alright, let's, uh, let's get past this boss.
I haven't really played Bayou Billy, but it's also made by Konami. So it's probably similar. How you can play with the controller. Hey, that guy didn't hit me this time. <laughs> Alright, we have full health. Fingers crossed we get past the boss this time. <laughs> Look how easy he dies. <laughs> I must have just been like missing him or something. I don't know what happened last time. Pick it up, Ian. That's all you. No way. Hey, hey that was a kind of golden mess, but at least. All right, so chapter four. Like I said this is where this the skip is. It's like two minutes into this. <clears throat> so the story for this chapter is, uh, there's an imposter Lone Ranger going around that's, uh, stealing from people. It's going around to different towns and, uh, stealing. So we got arrested because they thought we were the, the imposter. <clears throat> so we get thrown in jail and immediately just get broken out. Chase section. It's actually pretty cool. The double heart. The double heart drop. Too slow here, you get, can get into another encounter, which uh, wastes a lot of time. <clears throat> Alright, so the skip is leaving this town. So hopefully, we can get it. If not, we have to reset. Ice, we got it. Alright, cool. Now we have a run going. No way. <laughs> So I avoided that encounter there. Dang, I have all my bullets out. I did not want to have all those regular bullets out. Because these, uh, most of the enemies in this section will take two hits with a normal bullet. Skip that encounter that I skipped. The uh, the record does not skip that encounter, so this is a huge time save that I have. But the record, I guess, didn't know about <clears throat> because when you're the only person running a game. You're gonna miss stuff. Oh, look at that moon, though. That's a nice moon up there. Oh, 
Ah, go! Stop taking damage. <laughs> Alright, now we have the imposter fight. He's pretty tough. <clears throat> so yeah, that, that skip was in a uh, an unfinished task. So they, they got to chapter... 5? Or they got to this boss and then stopped. Because they didn't plan the task very well. <clears throat> but... I was watching it and I saw that. And I was like, oh boy, that would be, that would be pretty big if it worked. And then I... I uh, passed it into this, this part and I tried it and... Sure enough, it works. It is a, like I said, it is kind of a tight window, but it's not, it's not absurd. <laughs> Alright, so now we have an auto-scroller. This part, uh... The record, like, weaves in and out, sh like, shoots these guys and does all this stuff. But I figured out this cheese strat where if you stay bottom left, the only guys that can hit you are the ones that come from the bottom left. There's five. So I just count. Six. And that's the numbers on my splits. Seven. The numbers are the, the, which, which um, in the bottom one will come out. So this is eight. Nine. And then the next one will be ten. I only have to worry about those ones. <laughs> it's such an awesome little cheese strat. <laughs> yep. It's, it's not a clever name. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, the Native Americans are attacking us and we don't know why. So we get attacked again. So now the numbers are a little different here. We got two, five, seven. So here's one, two. Three. So this is why I count in this section. Four and five. So you just never have to worry about taking damage here, because uh, this is cheese strat. Six and seven. And then I know it's ten and fourteen. I have the numbers memorized now. <clears throat> oh, if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> it's 10, 11, 12, I know 13 and 14 are late. <clears throat> like, there's no reason to make like a section harder for yourself. Also, there's no reason to memorize something like the order of these guys if you don't have to. Like, just write them on your notes. <clears throat> or, yeah, just write, write, uh, you can write, always write notes on your splits, which is a nice little trick that I learned, like, from Yogi. So now we're going to talk to the chief and figure out why we're being attacked. about how Butch Cavendish, he's the final boss, came through here and uh, that's why they don't trust anyone. So in order to gain his trust, he says we have to go and do a quest to uh, find a rainbow colored egg and steal it from this eagle's nest. So that's what this, uh, this part is about. I gotta go a little bit slow here because these boulders are random. They do two damage, so the damage can add up pretty quick. Oof. Now we Mario 2, jumping on logs. Oh, 
Watch out for these, uh, vultures. Buzzards, if you want to call them. Ow, oh, come on. That was annoying. Okay, we saved some health back there. I was accidentally shooting down in diagonal. I fell on this screen like two times on my PV. So we're not gonna quite save all the time we can, but we're gonna save some good time here. <clears throat> yep, those yogi strats. No reason to waste your time memorizing stuff when you can just write it in your notes. Solid pace here, we should be close to maybe like 25 seconds ahead, I think. So we got the rainbow egg. And now we're bros! The Native Americans. This is my favorite cutscene in the game. I even messed. I even messed up a little. <clears throat> so this chapter is all about our lost love, uh, Clara. Oh, he knifed me! Dang it! She has been kidnapped by uh, Butch. Rescue her, obviously. <laughs> First, we have to go like back and forth through these towns. Uh, <clears throat> to go into three towns here, to figure out where to go next. Even though we know where to go next, but we still have to figure it out. Talk to this guy. He tells us where to go to, to figure out where the mine is, which is where their hideout is. And now we go back to this town. <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone knows who the Lone Ranger is. Or maybe he does, I don't know. Asking if how did he know to kidnap her? <clears throat> no way. So now we know where the, uh, the hideout is. It's over here. Now we platform again. Please. Hey, we made that jump. 
Alright, so we should save time here if we don't, uh, do anything stupid. Stalactite, tight, please! Lucky that fire did not hit me. The fire does a lot of damage. Alright, cool. <coughs> so we should save another 15 seconds here. This might be a gold, actually. <clears throat> now, for some reason, this guy tells us where, where she is. <laughs> Even though we just defeated him. Why would he uh, rat out where where they're hiding her? Ah, go. Oh. oh, dang it. Okay, that's not the worst, actually. That's not good. Getting hit by projectiles is really bad. Projectiles do two damage. This guy's gonna about to drop a heart, so we're good. <clears throat> a little sketchy. <laughs> I eat sin. Thanks for the host and the luck. <clears throat> How you doing tonight? What were you playing? Are you playing some Act Razor 2? No way. Now we have another zapper section here. Which I'd like to get the one where we get two hearts. That would be nice. It's not <clears throat> not a big deal. We can get our health back pretty quick in the next uh, the next town. Hold right, hold right, or else you can get into another encounter there. That is not good. <laughs> Dang it, I mismanaged my ammo again. Alright, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna buy, this is the last time we're gonna be visiting the gun shop. And same old, we're gonna buy as much ammo as we can get. Hopefully 50. We're going to get to. Nice. That's the osmosis you can have. Why is that guy spawned? <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're going to get full health. Like, right, come up right here. This guy's going to drop a heart for us. Oh, nice. That guy didn't hit us. Cool. Fortunately, you cannot make that platform. You have to wait for it to come back.
Well, that was actually kind of nice that I got hit by that stalactite. It, it did one damage to me instead of, uh... Oof. I think I have to kill that guy. <laughs> it worked out, though. I, I love the music of this stage. I think this is the only stage it appears in. It's really good, though. by the uh, chandelier. The chandelier does uh, four damage. boss can just, like, decide to kill you if he wants. <laughs> this is good pace, though. Now we have a really long cutscene here. Oh, you're doing Mario Maker. <clears throat> This next, this next stage is like all top-down sections. doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> so now we gotta take back this fort. From, uh... Butch's, uh, cronies. Perfect. Fully wait for that explosion to dissipate. Even if it looks like it's gone, it can still hit you. Oi. Really want to be careful with because their their bullets add up quick. They do two two damage a piece. Getting hit by uh, a projectile. one. <clears throat> so I changed the order that uh, I do these in compared to the record. And there is a, a reason so that we can, uh, if we take damage in that previous stage, we can uh, get, it up, get our health back in these two stages. I was out of ammo. <laughs> nice. Okay. I practiced that earlier and I fixed it. I kept getting hit by the bullet. The bullet that you just saw barely just missed me. I kept getting hit by that and I couldn't figure out why. Okay. 
That guy almost always hits me, so I like to play him a little safe. damage there. So we should be able to get this health back, I think. <clears throat> Without too much too much trouble, hopefully. Nope. Uh, not Samurai. They were supposed to be like... They're supposed to be... We're supposed to think they're the U.S. Cavalry. But they're, uh, they're like the fake U.S. Cavalry that Butch set up. which is known to do. I'm just gonna play this a little safe. Ooh, the double. <laughs> you! Cavalry usually has like uh, swords. So you need to get the three keys from uh, those three, uh, the three mini forts or whatever. my cheese strat I came up with. The way he, uh, the record does it is like really risky. <clears throat> Any Cossacks into the host? What's up, Rant Dog? Hey, I am. Thanks for the host. <clears throat> no gear boss fight? Yeah. I mean, this. This game is just like a mashup of like every economic game, so that's not when we split. <clears throat> Alright, so this is where our big time save is. In chapter 8. I did not need that heart, but I wanted to clear it out for lag purposes. No 
way. <laughs> Alright, let's do the maze correctly, please. screwed up last time. I got lost in the maze and I ended up, uh, I ended up actually leaving the maze backwards on accident and had to do the whole thing again. So we just saved a minute and ten seconds there. Here we do a little swag where we jump off the spikes there. <laughs> You're supposed to get damaged pretty much right as you, uh, you land on them. Hey, Fat, thanks for the host, man. Go for it. right here. No way. <clears throat> Slightly ahead here. <laughs> we can we can still it's not over. We can still die on the final boss. <clears throat> like it's not over till the final boss is in the uh, locked in place. Got uh, fire bars. This game's got everything. All right, this section. Uh, the gimmick is that the bullets can ricochet off the walls, hit you. Whatever. Just go. Please die. Why am I collecting money? No big deal. This guy drops a heart. Fantastic. 
All right, so here comes the twins. We need to we need to get them in the cheese spot. All right, we got them. Whoa! Stop shooting me, dude. Uh oh, this is not good. I really want more health than this. This is going to be scary for the final boss. <clears throat> so cross your fingers. No way. <clears throat> We're going to play it pretty safe on him. We're going to try at least. Should work. Fingers crossed he jumps all the way down there when I shoot. <clears throat> okay. All right, we got him. He's like really hard if you don't do this cheese strat. No way. All right, there it is. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so the the oldest world record is now the newest world record. <clears throat> God, this game is so good. <clears throat> Yeah, that was a pretty solid run. <clears throat> now we get to enjoy the ending. I knew it wasn't going to take me long. I just needed to get one solid run. <clears throat> hey, what were you up to tonight, I am? the host again. <clears throat> I love this cutscene. <laughs> He's just riding and shooting. <clears throat> and then it spells out everything one line at a time. But yeah, you gotta stay for the uh, the credits and pick out your favorite person from the credits. There's There's so many good ones to pick out. Yeah, thanks for all the GG's. Let's go back here. Yeah. <clears throat> Woo! So GG, I am, Arcus, Lynx, what's up Yells, Cloudy Shoe, <clears throat> TC, CGX, New, Ancap, Yami, Jupikus, Under Zed, Safe State, Sin, Kha'Zix, What's up, real deal? Fat. Alright, we got all those lucky hosts. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, here, here we go. We got your favorite. Put your favorite uh, name you see in chat. I just, I just love the their pseudonyms. They're so good. Jeepakiss, Spam, Starkey. I know which one Jeepakiss's favorite is. <clears throat> yep, there it is. <laughs> Skeleton Moppy, Satoshi Kissy, Lonely, Lonely Kambe. 
Pitarada. <laughs> Gorgeous Tomita. There, there's so many good ones. I love it. <laughs> and obviously the best is Rain, the Rain Dance Kid. What's up, Nose? Nose, you just missed it! <coughs> Chi Chi, I guess. Yeah, we got the record. <coughs> so we, we improved the record by one minute and eight seconds.